welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and watching you guys it has been so long since i've uploaded it's been about a week and a half or two weeks i think at this point and just a lot of crazy things have been going on so i took a little break um there's like just a bunch of different effects have been going on to like that i just haven't uploaded or anything but now i'm finally back and today i wanted to do a single the mile inspired makeup look so um i did this look about a year last year and again my techniques were completely different a lot of things that i used were different and i wanted to share it with you guys so i wanted to recreate it again upload it that way you guys can see and see how i got this look and that way if you wanted to try it out then you can do it so yeah you guys this is um the outcome if you'd like to see how i got this look then please keep on watching Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming the eyes using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm using the shade Fair, just because I, I don't know, I always go like hella light on my concealers. But yeah, I'm using the shade Fair. So to set the concealer into place, I'm going to go in with this white corner shade using the Morphe 35C palette. And I'm just going to place it from lid to brow bone everywhere I put the concealer, basically. So setting it with this white um, eyeshadow, um, it just, you don't, you can use any powder. You can use translucent powder, you can use just a regular base powder, whatever you have on hand. But I, I wanted to use a white eyeshadow because I feel like it also acts, not only is it setting the concealer into place, but I feel like it acts as a transition shade, so it'll be easier and smoother for you to go back in and blend and do all the, you know, all the blending work and eye work and stuff okay, like that. Okay, so what I had in mind was I'm going to go ahead and do a transition shade of, like, neutral browns. Um, because I just don't want the flag to be just plain by itself and then there'll be a harsh line. So I'm just going to go in, let's see what shade I want to go in with. Mm, I think I'm just going to mix these two. Hold on. I'm going to mix this peachier brown and this more neutral brown and I'm just going to place that all over the crease that way I can just have like a natural um, transition. So I'm going to lightly pl um, place it in the crease and just blend it and blend it and blend it and blend it. <laughs> I'm not going to focus it too much on the bottom half because I'm going to go in and cut the crease anyways. So mainly just like going up more towards the brow so from like the crease up um because once i do the cut crease then you won't be able to see it and that'll defeat the purpose so i just want something like between the crease and the brow just to look more like a transition and that way the flag won't look so harsh and it won't look like it's just like you know just straight it'll be more of a blended kind of fadient fadent effect I'm gonna go one more shade darker and I'm gonna use this one right here on the first row and I'm just gonna lightly place that in the crease starting from the crease and then I'll work it up okay now for the fun part at least it's fun to me <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease into the shape of the flag or the shape that I prefer you can do whatever shape you prefer um, you can use any concealer, but I'm just going to go in with this concealer palette. I got it off of the app called Macari. I just like to use it just because I don't want it to be wasted there, so I like to use it for my cut creases. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the crease really quick. Okay, so again, to set that all into place using that same white shade that I used um, in the beginning from the Morphe 35C palette, I'm just setting it with white again because just so that it'll have a base to stand out with. Okay, so next to start off with the colors of the flag, I'm going to go in with this red shade right here and I'm going to place it on the inner corner. So I'm first going to go in with a flat shader brush and just apply it to the place that I want it um, to be at 
and then I can go in and blend it out with the fluffy with a fluffy fluffy brush fluffy blending brush <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't get that out um, and I don't know if you can tell it kind of looks pink from or at least on the camera it looks pink um, but you just have to kind of keep building it up so I'm gonna stop it about third of the way that way the middle part can be white and the outer part can be green so I'll probably stop it right about here and then I'm just gonna once I blend it out I'm gonna have to keep adding more to build it up that way it don't look pink it'll I want it to look red like a really dark red okay so the same process with the white I'm just taking a flat shader brush and I'm just gonna place it in the center so that base of the white that I had put from setting the concealer really helped so now as you can see that I'm putting the white it's popping out a whole lot more so that's the whole reason why I did the white eyeshadow to set the concealer that way it'll just be another layer for the white to stand out okay so next for the green I'm going in with this dark green right here I was thinking about one of these but that's too light like I want it to look like the true color and it's like a really dark green so I'm gonna go ahead and use that shade for the outer corner okay so again I'm just gonna place the green white right where it ended the white and just take your time with it that way you don't go outside of the lines and of course we're gonna build up the color So you should have something like this. I tried to make it as even as possible. I feel like this eye came out wonky. I don't know why. It's just one of those days. But yeah, you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so now I'm going to try to attempt to draw the eagle in the center. And I was going to go for a liquid liner. But I think I'm just going to take a regular, what is this? Like an eyeliner type brush. A really teeny tiny precise one. And get black eyeshadow from the palette. The same palette and kind of just trace it out first and then if i feel like i need more opaqueness or i want it to be show up more like more darker then i'll go back over it with the liquid eyeliner but for now i'm not going to talk i'm going to try to draw it or at least try to make the figure of it or make it look like something's there because i don't want to just go looking plain like this because really the eagle is in the center so i'm going to try my best to do that Okay, so as you can see, I ended up going back, I'm, I'm doing like this because it's still drying. I went back over it using the uh, Wet n Wild H2O liquid liner. And since I have hella hooded eyes, of course it's going to end up messing up. That's why I'm like trying to let it dry like this, so I'm like straining my face now. <laughs> but once it dries, it shouldn't transfer, but as of right now, it kind of just smeared everywhere. As you can see, I tried doing the eagle holding the snake and then it had like the little designs at the bottom. But it kind of just went all over the place so now it looks like a weird squiggly line or something. But um, I tried my best. Last year I just did like a little... I just like since I wasn't... Um, my skills are so much different now. So back then all I did was place like a little circle there just to make it look like something was there. But nothing so detailed as this. I don't know if you can kind of see. It's not, I know it's not the best thing in the world. It does not do the flag justice. Um, that's the best that I can do because I don't have any other thinner liners. This one has a more thicker wand and I don't have anything thinner. And when I tried doing it with the eyeshadow, it wasn't showing up. So that's why I went with the liquid liner. 
But yeah, I'm gonna let it finish drying and then I'm gonna try to do this side now and then yeah, we'll just go from there. See, this one came out completely different. Keep in mind I'm left-handed so this side's gonna come out better and I'm over here reaching this way like this. But yeah, that, that is like the best that I could do. I really hope it looks good to y'all. I probably should have just left it like that, but it's part of the flag, so I wanted to try to put incorporate that in there. So I'm gonna let this dry, and then we'll move on to the face. So for foundation today, I'm going in with the Wet Mod Photo Focus. I'm in the shade Cream Beige. I am so mad. I completely forgot primer. Oh my gosh, that is it's my luck. It's my. I was so excited about the look that I completely forgot primer. So in case you're wondering what I would have used, I would have used here. Let me get it out. I was going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover X or Hangover RX, however you want to say it, primer. Wait, and then go for my pores using the NYX Pore Filler. But since I completely forgot and went in straight with foundation, I just, I don't know, I missed out. So anyways, that those were the ones I was going to use for today. But I completely forgot. Oh, I need to get it together. <laughs> Oh my gosh it looks like since I have weighted eyes you can't tell but once I do it like this it looks so much better okay but anyways for concealer I'm going back in with that same Maybelline concealer the Maybelline fit me okay so I'm gonna quickly set that using the Maybelline fit me loose powder and I'm going to go in with the wet sponge and just tap into the powder like this. And then just go over everywhere that I had put the concealer. Here, I'm going to use my OG. This palette, you guys, I this is one of my first palettes besides the ABH Contour Kit that I'd ever owned from like a high-end um, like brand. And it is the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette. It has a bronzer, blush, and highlight in it. And it's the native version. And it looks like this. Of course, it has a mirror at the bottom, but it looks like this. And, <coughs> excuse me, I had a little tickle. <laughs> and when I was in high school, you guys, I used this all the time, especially for high stepping. I used it all the time. And if you don't know what high stepping is, it's like a drill team for high school dance. So this was the product that I used all the time. And I just wanted to, like revisit that so we're gonna go ahead and use that today so i'm gonna use the bronzer blush and highlight from this palette you guys this is such a good palette especially if you're traveling i use it everywhere i go i don't know why it's not raved about and talked about more i love this palette you guys and i i believe they have it in several different shades or several different tones or i don't know because like i know the blush is a different shade in a different palette and I know they have a different highlighting shade, but this one, oof, it is my favorite in my opinion. Look at that glow, you guys. Oh, I love it so, so, so much. Okay, so as you can see what I did, I went in on the bottom lash line and just matched the shades. So I did green, white, and red on both sides. And then I went in with a black e.l.f. Um, liner pencil liner and I watered the inner water line I quickly did my brows off camera using the LA colors brow pencil and next I'm gonna go in with mascara using the L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise and then for lashes I'm gonna go in with the style divas by LA colors and then that'll be it then we'll move on to the lippy okay and last but not least for the lip I'm gonna go in with the Katy Perry matte lips by covergirl in the shade um, crimson cat so it's this red shade guys that is basically it for my Cinco de Mayo inspired look this is what it looks like I am so in love with it I just it just took me back again so yeah you guys thank you so much for being here and supporting me and my channel please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah I'll see you on my next video bye